Hi, I'm Pete Thomas. I'm Vice President of Shipyard Support Services at Lifecycle Engineering. Uh, essentially what we do is provide engineering and technical support uh, in all the public shipyards, both East and West Coast, as well as Yakuska and Guam. Prior to joining the private sector, I was a submariner and served on submarine tenders and major maintenance facilities for 33 years. So years ago, there was a number of tenders uh, throughout the fleet, both submarine and destroyer tenders. And as such, we had large pools of resources, sailors, that fix ships. We had a very vigorous training pipeline to support all these uh, pools of people. Well, that dynamic doesn't exist anymore. We only have two tenders, both in Guam, that happen to be right now. And that competency of, of executing work from cradle to grave has atrophied. And we've had to depend now. I'm, unfortunately, I think the sailors and the Navy have to depend on private contractors and, and shipyards to execute their work. Life cycle engineering is involved in multiple areas throughout the fleet right now. Um, we have personnel actually embedded on the tenders, uh, helping in the planning processes. We're conducting basic and advanced planning courses. Uh, we're down on the waterfronts, over the shoulder training, in project management with zone managers and assistant project superintendents, and we're very involved in uh, submarine TISRIS. Life cycle engineering provides training in a lot of different ways and in a lot of different areas. We support M learning, which is a, a remote concept, but it's through tablets and smartphones as such. We have multimedia, interactive type training, we do curriculum development, and all of these different platforms. So uh, we're very rich, rich in that area. Also, we have what we call the Sea Coach Program, C standing for Ships Equipment and Assessment Program. And essentially there, we have system matter experts, a lot, of, a lot of them retired military, who go down on the ships, and again, it's an over-the-shoulder training with sailors to repair their equipment, assess their equipment, maintain their equipment, and we've had really, really good luck with that program in the fleet. So we've covered uh, the things that we're currently doing on the waterfront. We've talked about some of our core capabilities in terms of remote training and uh, some of the other initiatives that we have. And so you, you roll all that up, you know, we can cradle to grave sailor training, essentially. LC is not interested in doing the work for the sailors. Uh, what we are interested in is being part of that transition of, of where the sailors are currently and at times dependent on others to do the work to where they're totally independent. So when they can do everything that perhaps years ago all the tenders can do then we're, and we're out of a job, then we've been successful. For more information on Shipyard Support Services and our training capabilities, please visit lc.com.